Greetings, it's your friendly neighborhood ghost here. Hope you all are doing well. Today we have a creepy carousel horse. I don't know why I decided to draw this. Sometimes I just get into my head that I need to draw something and I wanted to draw a spooky horse. So here we go. Um, you may notice that I'm doing this initial sketch on paper. I hadn't done anything traditional in a while. And uh, this is me showing you how wonky my initial sketch came out. The proportions were way messed up, so I ended up redoing it, which is what uh, you're seeing on the back side of this paper that I did. So I sketched it out on a piece of drawing paper and then transferred it onto some watercolor paper uh, because we're going to be we, I say we, it's the royal we, um, end up inking this. I initially tried to record uh, the audio with this as I was drawing with it. It just, it came out pretty funky. So I have to come back in with a voiceover. One of these days I'll figure it out. Otherwise it's, you basically just end up hearing me mouth breathing the entire time while I'm inking, which is creepy sounding. So I ended up clipping that out. But yeah, going with a dip pen, just doing the lines. Honestly, doing lines is probably my favorite part. I just find it very relaxing. You can kind of go on autopilot and not, not have to think about it too much. I think part of the inspiration for this drawing, if you ever go to Denver International Airport, if you're ever flying in or flying out, um, we have an evil demon demon horse statue basically outside of dia um he's very aptly called lucifer but yeah he's a very evil looking horse it's like a giant blue stallion with with laser eyes if you've ever seen him here let's see if i can find a picture somewhere I'll put it in i'll have to figure out how to do that but yeah i think I think he was part of the inspiration for this. I just wanted to draw a spooky horse. And I hadn't done anything traditional in a while either, so just felt like noodling around with some ink. I wonder if you can hear me sipping this water. How good is this mic? I don't know. We're going to find out. Is this going to make the final cut? I guess we'll find out. So for the wash on this one, I used Sumi ink, and sometimes it varies depending on which ink you want to use, but I like Sumi ink for gradients and washes uh, because it's an India ink, 
it takes a little bit longer to dry than say like an acrylic so you can do lots of cool feathering effects and just fun like wet on wet techniques I actually did this piece over several days. So I did the initial sketch, transferred the lines, inked it, um, went in with a base wash, walked away, came in back with a second run of washes. Yeah, you can see right here, I accidentally went in way darker than I had wanted to with the mane and the tail because I had initially planned this to be on a dark background. I didn't plan very well. Ended up going way too dark. So I had to improvise at the end to kind of help build some contrast. I suppose I could have left it on a white background, but I don't know, lately, the past year or so, I've just been really, really into dark backgrounds. The more black ink, the better. That's how I've been, that's how I've been feeling lately. Don't know why. Couldn't tell you. Going in with some shadows. I get very minimal in terms of shading, but just to help build a little bit of contrast and give some visual interest. And then the really long process of filling in the whole background with black. So I used the initial washes on the horse. Um, I used India ink. And then for the background, I prefer using acrylic ink. I like how matte it is um, compared to some other inks. So, and I find it it's a lot easier to just apply. And I like the texture too. It kind of absorbs into the paper. There are a couple other brands of ink that I've tried over the years that it, it, the texture is a little weird. It's like really shiny. Um, and that's the thing I like about the acrylic ink. It really kind of absorbs into the paper and is, has a very nice matte finish. And because the, uh, I accidentally made the mane and the tail too dark, and I think some of the legs as well, 
And plus it was on a dark background. I basically went in and outlined the horse with gel pen. Just so it pops out on the page and doesn't blend in too much. And that's the horse. There we go. So thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the video. And let me know in the comments what your favorite theme park ride is. I always like roller coasters and carousels. I hate Ferris wheels though. You will not get me on a Ferris wheel. They scare me. Anyway, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Catch y'all later and happy hauntings. Bye.